What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. What I have here is the Smith & Wesson M&P R8. This does come from their Performance Center line, so you know it's a high-end revolver. Now before we get started, I'm going to show you guys that the revolver is not loaded. This is a single and double action. The overall length on this gun is ten and a half inches. The barrel is five inches. The cylinder is stainless steel and the barrel is also stainless steel. It has a scandium alloy frame which is an end frame. And I have to say the scandium material is very expensive. It's not cheap stuff. The trigger is a custom trigger. You don't even have to tune the trigger. It does have a PC tuned action to it as well, which is really nice. I haven't shot this revolver yet. It's practically brand new. Now this revolver retails for somewhere around 1300 bucks. Um, that's not the price I paid for it. I've actually got it from somebody I know brand new for 800 bucks. So I couldn't skip out on that for this kind of revolver. Um, the cylinder also accepts moon clips and this bad boy holds eight rounds which is amazing this revolver was uh, specially designed for uh, SWAT team for the entry guys that carry the shields the police have asked Smith & Wesson to make them something and this is what they came up with which is pretty cool now it does have quite some weight to it in the front but it's actually nice because uh, I'll have less of a recoil when I'm shooting now I did put this rail on top I'm not planning on putting any optics on it anytime soon plus it adds a little weight on it and I like the look of the gun with the rail on top I think it's pretty cool this is the 357 Magnum and it also shoots 38 special it does have a rail on the bottom that's built in it's not uh, removable like the TRR8 which are practically the same gun except for on the TRR8 you can remove the bottom rail and if you can see the MP over here the, the TRA doesn't have that it's actually opened just like on the other side right here looks exactly the same Plus, I like the M&P sign on the, on the other side. I think it's pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some shooting videos. I'll see when I can get up into the range and do some shooting with this gun. So, if you like this video, hit the thumbs, thumbs up button and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching and see you next time.